When St. Ignatius left Salamanca to begin his studies up at the University of Paris, he left a few companions there in Salamanca, one of which who had certainly been um, incarcerated with him in the uh, Spanish uh, uh, Dominican convent. Um, he was very interested in them joining him later in Paris, and he was to go ahead and, and um, set the way for them. But under the pressure of so many things that were going on in his life, um, and in the lives of those young men, um, he, they never were able to join up again. Um, a couple of them had um, good careers in the church. Um, one of them, I think, disappeared from the annals of, of history. Um, but what they all, um, advanced, what Ignatius learned from that experience um, with them was um, that he found in companions a real beautiful way of expanding the ministry that he thought was so important to him. He himself, you know, of course, felt that he should bring the spiritual exercises to people, or at least help people spiritually. Um, but he discovered that there were other people who could do work that was similar to his, maybe even work that was as good or better than he could do. And so, um, because his great desire was to um, bring the message of Christ to as many people as he could, um, he began to rely on other people and um, informed them in the same sort of experience that had formed him, the conversion experience that the spiritual exercises contained. What had moved him, what had helped him um, in his conversion, he put into that book. And as he guided people through that, he began to see that what had happened to him as he lay recuperating in um, Loyola began to happen to those people as they were led through the spiritual exercises. And so um, once that had happened, then they too felt within themselves this tremendous desire to, um, to serve and to love God. And with that confidence that this was the process and this was the way to do that, he arrives in Paris, hoping his companions will join him. When they do not, um, he still has the method and the way that he's going to uh, begin to serve the Lord by finding other people um, and continuing himself um, to walk the way of the Lord and to draw other people into that way. Um, he was a, a man who had a single vision of wanting to help souls, um, but he was very adaptable in how to do that. And once he found the method that helped, um, he began to employ it to great, great success. And that's the wisdom of the autobiography of St. Ignatius.